So the Callisto Protocol, in my personal opinion, is an incredible experience. I absolutely love this game, guys. Um, even though I know the reviews and a lot of people had had a lot of complaints at launch about a number of things, whether it was bugs and glitches or whether it was the combat mechanics, the gameplay, the story, the main character. You know, there was a lot of complaints that came out when this game first released. And for me, though, I have absolutely loved the Callisto Protocol. Even the things that they've added on later on, like the season pass, I think that this has a, a setting for the future of what could be a very very special franchise. And so I want to talk about the Callisto Protocol and, you know, kind of where it is currently in terms of as we're seeing, you know, things develop over time within the horror gaming landscape. I want to talk about, you know, how far is the Callisto Protocol from becoming a, you know, a juggernaut of a franchise similar to that of, of Dead Space. Let's talk about it. So the Callisto Protocol, guys, obviously um, there were plans, and I believe those plans are still going to happen with the developer over at Striking Distance Studios. Their plan is, is to service this game for four years at least until, you know, maybe they decided to green light a second game. It's hard to say exactly what the roadmap looks like now because of uh, the you know, the critical reception of the title. And so even though I believe that it's a very underrated title, I mean, when you talk about from a graphics perspective, when you talk about, in my mind, I thought that the environments, um, yes, the enemies, you know, there wasn't a ton of variety there, but they could certainly expand upon that. You have to remember that this is the first game um, within this universe. And so um, a lot of people, you know, comparing it to Dead Space, obviously, because it's a spiritual successor to it, but when you're comparing, you know, these two franchises, you know, Dead Space 1 versus the Callisto Protocol, um, there's a lot of similarities there in terms of, you know, the amount of enemies that you were fighting. Now, sure, maybe uh, Dead Space had more weapons you could use. Maybe people liked Isaac Clarke more because he didn't really talk. Um, you know, there, there's a number of things there. But when I talk, when I look at the Callisto Protocol and I see the visual fidelity that this game has put together. And then on top of that, I thought that the story was pretty good and I thought that they could really build off of it. Not the greatest story ever. We've seen it before, but I felt like they could really build on it. So what does that, where does that kind of leave us? Well, I think it leaves us guys with a game that is definitely, um, I believe that there certainly were, you know, a lot of positives out of the Callisto Protocol. There were certainly some negatives and now they got to look you know, go back to the drawing board, that being Striking Distance Studios, saying, okay, what do we do right? What do we do wrong? And what can we do different moving forward? And I think that, you know, there was a lot of talk that this was a game that was going to be in the PUBG universe. And so that's a very interesting element as well, because th this being a title that um, could have been in the PUBG universe, and then they decided not to do it. There's been some back and forth there, but you wonder, would they ever decide to tie it back into PUBG to get a second Callisto Protocol made? Because at this point, we have not have confirmation that they're going to make a Callisto Protocol too. And really, in reality, a lot of people have talked about this being the next, you know, trilogy, like they were going to make, you know, a Callisto Protocol 1, 2, and 3 to make this like a, a trilogy, similar to what uh, happened with Dead Space. And so obviously a lot of those things are in question now because of the launch. Obviously, as the Callisto Protocol is continuing its trajectory, I believe that, you know, they, they updated a lot of things. They made the experience a lot better, in my personal opinion, and they added a lot of things in the season pass from riot mode to, I mean, different bundles and all these different things that they did within the game to bring you back to the experience over and over again. I think there's something definitely special here. And in my mind, it is on a fantastic trajectory to being as good as Dead Space. I just think that now you go back to the drawing board, you look at the things that you did right, wrong, what you can do different in the Callisto Protocol 2, and you move forward. And like I said, guys, um, you know, I think that the Callisto Protocol has a great foundation upon what it can do to move forward. Time will tell. We'll obviously have to wait and see what they decide to do at Striking Distance Studios as well as with Crafton because I thought that the marketing to the graphics, I mean, just everything, even from the website that they have, it, it all looks so good. They do such a good job with the marketing and stuff. I think if they just 
hone in on the issues that they had in the first game, they're really on the right path to creating something very special in the future. But let me know, guys, what do you think? How far you know behind do you think the Callisto Protocol is to catching Dead Space? Obviously, we need to have a couple of more games in this franchise to really start being able to compare one to the other, but it'll be interesting. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And for more of the Callisto Protocol content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.